Hi, I'm Lisa Taylor, the owner of Evolution Power Yoga. Here are three simple poses you can do on your own at home to make your lower back feel better. So for the first pose, we're going to start with bridge pose. Susie, will you lie down on your back? We're gonna use a prop, a block, and we're gonna use the block likely in the tallest and widest position so both hips have room on the block. So Susie, press down into your feet and lift your hips in the air. Create your body in the shape of a sliding board from your knees down to your face. Then tippy toe and slide the block under the lowest part of your spine. The block is positioned very low on your spine between your hip bones, not in the curve of your lower back. Position your feet directly under your knees, ankles under your knees. Press the back of your forearms down and make your arms the shape of a letter W. So hold this pose for as long as it feels comfortable. For the next pose, you can adjust the block to a lower position, press into your feet and move the block down just a bit lower. Still the position is right between your hip bones, not in your lower back. Carefully bring one knee into your chest and then extend your legs straight up in the air, then the other knee into your chest, legs straight up in the air, move your feet away from you until you feel your lowest abdominal muscles kicking in. Make your feet look like they're standing on the ceiling. Keep your knees stacked on top of your hips, and if your legs start to get really tired, you can soften your knees. Just keep your knees stacked on top of your hips. Straight line up and down. Hold this pose for as long as it feels comfortable, up to five minutes in each one of these three postures. The third pose in this three pose series is called Supta Baddha Konasana, or Recline Bound Angle Pose. Bring your feet to the floor, press into the ground, lift your hips up, and turn the block to its most flat position. Rest your hip bones and your tailbone on the block. Then bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees drop open. As you're holding this pose, just keep melting your ribs down into your body as you exhale. To come out of this last pose and move into rest, bring your knees together, press down in your feet, back up to bridge pose and remove the block. Then come down onto the mat one bone at a time, so your chest, your ribs, your waist, finally your hips. Stretch your legs out long and enjoy your new lower back.